In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this infrared pen. First, get your Prismacolor marker and then remove the sticker. Next, open the marker and remove the ink cartridge. Then remove both end caps and use a knife to pry both ink tips off. Next, take your 1 tenth inch perf board and sketch a rectangle 17 holes by 4 holes. Make sure that the smaller side is a little larger than the inner diameter of the marker. After that, cut your rectangle and sand down the edges until it fits nicely inside your marker. Next, take your male and female headers and break two away from each. Then, bend the male headers 90 degrees using pliers. Get your push button, put it into the perf board, and solder it into place. Next, get your resistor, bend the pins, put it into the perf board, and solder that into place too. Solder one side of the resistor to one side of the push button. Then put solder over the holes shown in the picture. After that, get a wire about 6 tenths of an inch long and solder it as shown in the picture. Take the female header and solder it perpendicular to the surface of the perf board as seen in the picture. Take the right angled male header and solder it to the other side of the perf board. Make sure the shorter pins are the ones that are soldered. Then cut a wire about 4 and a quarter inches long and solder it to the other side of the female header. Take your spring, cut it in half, and solder the second last coil to the other end of the wire. Then take your IR LED, cut the pins, and place it into the female header. To figure out how long the pin should be, line up the perf board with the marker as seen in the image and cut the pins so that the bottom of the LED lines up with the end of the marker. Also while the perf board is lined up with the marker, take a pencil and mark where the push button lines up with the marker. Then take a pen and cut the end off of the ink holder. This is going to be our button. Next, using a drill bit with the same diameter as your button, drill a hole where you marked on the marker. Now all that's left is to slide the perf board into the marker, making sure the push button is lined up with the hole, then slide the battery in, making sure the positive terminal is facing out, line the spring up with the positive terminal, put the cap on the other end, and then insert the button. And that's all there is to it. Now if you did everything accordingly, you should have yourself a pretty cool infrared pen. Remove the cap to see the infrared LED and press the button to activate it. I'm going to be testing the infrared pen using the Wiimote's infrared camera. And I currently have the Wiimote connected to my computer via Bluetooth, and I'm running Johnny Lee's uh, Wii Multipoint Grid software to detect the infrared source. So if I point the infrared pen at the Wiimote, and I press the button, you can see the cross here on my screen, and I can manipulate the screen by holding down the button and moving my infrared pen around. So it's picking up the point of the infrared light. And that's it.